Hey everyone! So it is the last day of January, so meaning this video is going to be posted on the 1st of February. And um, I'm not going to say that this month went by really quickly because I just don't think that it did. January seemed to kind of take a long time, so it was nice to really enjoy the month as opposed to just kind of flying by. So I don't have that many favorites for this month, and you guys are probably sick and tired of seeing favorites favorites videos, considering I had six for my favorites of last year, um, which I'm definitely going to try and, um, you know, come up with a better way of doing it so there's just not so many videos, just probably really narrow down my selections, which is really hard to do. But anyways, um, so I just have a couple of items, and uh, let's just go ahead and get into the video. So you guys know that I was kind of off and on sick here and there for probably about almost two months. So, and I still have, like, um, some redness and, like, dry skin and stuff um, around my chin. So, what I was using, and I'm still using, is my L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. And I've really been enjoying this. Um, it's just a face primer. And um, it's kind of like a thick kind of, like, cream, if that makes sense. It doesn't really feel like a base, but it, it goes on really nicely. It smooths over the skin well. And I've been using this um, just in the areas that I have dry skin, just so that my foundation is going to apply um, over top of it a lot more easily, and so that it's not so flaky looking. Um, still, when you put foundation or any makeup over top of dry skin, it's not going to look that great, but this lasts a long time before it kind of starts showing through. Um, so I've been really enjoying that. Um, I've been re reusing, or I guess kind of falling in love again, with my um, Rimmel Hide the Blemish Concealer, and this is in the shade Ivory. And I've had this for, well, a long time. You can see I've used a ton of this. Um, but uh, I recently started using it again because I've been using the Maybelline, Maybelline Under Eye um, Brightener, and it's got a lot of um, pink to it. And the concealer that I have by MAC that I absolutely love, it's got um, kind of warm shades, like warm undertones to it. So it just has it, it's been giving a lot of redness to my face. So um, I've been using this because it's uh, very like yellow, um, yellow based, <laughs> whatever if that makes sense. So it's been combating the redness that I'm putting underneath my eyes. So um, I've just been applying that um, with my finger, just rubbing it on. It's super, super creamy, um, covers very, very well. Um, I do absolutely love this and I'm so happy that I pulled it out again and started using it. I have been absolutely in love with my L'Oreal um, Neutral uh, Eyeshadow Quad. And you can see I've been using quite a bit of this. Almost every single day I have been using this. Um, I'll usually use the light color, and they're all matte, which is great as well. I'll be using this as my highlight, obviously. Sometimes I'll put this all over my lid and then the highlight and then just run any one of those colors through the crease. Um, I've been wearing doing kind of a smoky, so doing the dark brown on the lid and then doing the other shades in the crease, you know, going lighter as I go up. Um, I just love this so much. It is the perfect set of just neutral brown shades. I absolutely love it. And like I said, almost every single day I've been wearing this. So I totally understand why everyone has, like, loves this product. And I've definitely been very late to jump on the bandwagon. But this is the Sachet, I can't speak today, the Sachet Vite um, Fast Dry Top Coat. And I got this because there was a deal on Sally's and I got a China Glaze Polish when I bought one of these. So um, I've been using this, I think I got basically pretty much the very beginning of the month and I've been using it a ton. And um, I absolutely love it. I love that it dries so quickly. Um, you don't have to have the polish. I mean, you don't want to put regular, you know, your colored polish on and then throw this on right over top. Give it like a minute to kind of dry a little bit and then you can throw this right over top. It dries pretty quickly. Just to the touch, I wouldn't be like playing around with it too much, but it does dry really well. It gives a really thick, good coat of clear polish to the top of the nails. And um, it lasts pretty long as well. So I've been really impressed with this. So when I run out or goes goopy halfway through as I've heard, um, I'm definitely going to be repurchasing that because it's definitely, um, it's definitely way better than any other clear um, polish that I have tried. I like really love this stuff. So as I have on my nails right now, I have my Essie Fiji nail polish and I absolutely love this shade. I just did um, some little bows kind of and polka dots on my nails. Um, it kind of looks like bows. Anyways, um, I love this. It's a very cool toned baby pink and um, this is the prettiest color. I've been wearing this 
quite a bit this month. Um, ever since I got it, I just fell in love with the shade. Um, the only thing I don't like is I do have to usually put um, either two really thick coats on or three coats of this polish. It's not that opaque. I can't stand that with lighter polishes. I like them to be very opaque, but you know, whatever, it doesn't usually happen. So, um, anyways, whatever. Um, I do like this. Um, I don't find that Essie really lasts that long on the nails. Like, I only just put this on the other day and I've got some chipping and stuff off, but um, it's the prettiest shade. And I feel like when I wear this, like, almost like I have a tan or something like that to my skin. Like, it just makes me look a little bit darker. I don't know, I guess maybe because it's, like, so light and, like, cool tone. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but I love this shade so much. And for perfume, um, I have this um, Body Kiss um, called Kiss Me Cupcake, and it's just a roll-on body roll-on perfume. And this smells, and it says Kiss Me Cupcake, it smells just like cupcakes, or what it smells exactly like is the Frosted Cupcake Candle from Bath & Body Works. And you guys know I'm absolutely obsessed with that candle and that scent. So, um, I have been loving this so much. I've been putting it on, um, most days this month, I think, just because I love really sweet, edible scents. Um, I'm not, like, really into floral, kind of, whatever. I like really, like, fruity, yummy kind of stuff. So, I just roll a little bit on my wrist, and then, not here where I have my burn, I kind of put it a little bit further down the wrist, and then just on the sides of my neck here, and, um, this smells so good. You just smell like you just want to eat me all up. That did not sound right. But it smells like you want to eat this. That's what I'll say. It smells like you want to eat this. It just smells so good, and I love smelling really sweet and yummy. So on to, I have to get it off my phone here, on to my music favorites for the month. Um, I've got three songs, and um, one of them I think I may have mentioned several months ago back in the summer. I'm not entirely sure, um, but it's called uh, Duty Love by Don Omar, and I absolutely love it. Like, I discovered it back in, like, the summer or something, um, but I've just been listening to it a lot more lately, and I absolutely love that song. When it comes on, I'm just like, repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, and then the other one by Don Omar is this new single out, which is called Zumba, and I absolutely love it. I was actually just listening to it, like, before. I started filming this. So I love that. Just really like um, fun dance, like get up and move kind of song. And then the other one is by Daddy Yankee and his song is called Limbo. And I feel like the Zumba and the Limbo songs kind of remind me of each other, uh, even though they're different artists. Um, anyways, I love it. Um, again, really just, I like, I love both those artists. And uh, just like such like fun, you know, dance, feel good kind of songs. Even though they're in Spanish and I don't fully know everything that they're saying, I still love those songs so much. So I'm going to link those um, three songs below so you, um, so you guys can go and check them out if you want to. And uh, that is it for my monthly favorites. So probably the shortest favorite video I've ever done, but I want to keep it short and I didn't have that much for this month either. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, video response. If you did a favorite video, I'd love to see what you guys um uh, had for favorites for January. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!